Hello and welcome back to iPad Lettering. My name is Karen and I'm here to help you get the most out of your iPad, whether that is with lettering or art or journaling. In today's video, I want to show you how I've set up my iPad to be super productive, but also relaxing at the same time. I've made these different pages for different purposes and it makes me so happy just looking at it. And then I've also decided to try out the new focus modes that were introduced with iPadOS 15. It's really a game changer. You can now determine which apps you want to have available and which notifications you want to receive depending on what you're doing with your iPad. You'll notice that not only the icons change but the wallpaper changes as well and then you can also change from the dark to the light interface and there's so many options options and this is what I'm going to show you in today's video. This is what my iPad used to look like. Look at this. There is so many pages and so many apps and I don't even know all the apps that I have installed and collected over the years and so it's just a huge mess and creates a massive distraction. So let me show you how we can transform this into the beautiful new relaxing setup. You will need three apps for this. The first one is the Shortcuts app and then you will also need the Widget Smith app and then the third app we're going to use but that's optional is the Procreate app. And then before you start please also make sure that you've updated your iPad to the latest version of iPadOS. It needs to say at least iPadOS 15 or a later version will work too of course. All right so now let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is actually get rid of all the icons we have and I've removed all my my icons and start it from scratch but if you don't want to do that there's also another way so you hold your finger on the screen anyway until the icons start wiggling and then you want to tap on the bar here at the bottom to have a look at all the screens that you currently have on the iPad and so now the easiest way to get rid of them is just to unselect them and then you can see as soon as you untick the checkbox there's a little minus icon here so what you can do if you want is tap on the minus and then that will get rid of the apps as well. You see that if you remove the page that the apps will not get deleted but they will just be available in the app library. And so now we are going to create a new page here. And the first thing we want to do is add some widgets. You can decide how many shortcuts you want to have available and I've decided to have four shortcuts because that's as many different focus modes that I want but you can actually also have eight if you like. And so now we're going to tap add widget. And the reason why I've started with this is because I'm going to use this to guide me in the selection of my color scheme. So now we're going to start the shortcuts app and I'm going to show you how you can set up shortcuts. So you tap on the plus here and that brings up the new shortcuts page. So we're going to give this a name and you can choose any name you like depending on what you want to name your page. I recommend that you choose the same name and then you can also choose a color for it. And unfortunately there is only a few select colors available here so I think the selection of the colors makes quite a big difference. I've decided to go for a purple and orange tangerine type of color scheme but again of course this is absolutely up to you whatever color scheme you would like to choose. So you choose that here and then tap done and then we tap done here as well and you'll see how I've already set up four different shortcuts one for relaxation, one for music, one for creativity and also one for work and you can also rearrange the shortcuts and this is important as well because depending on how you've got them arranged on the screen that's how they are going to show up in the widget. So you can see now that I've added this new productivity shortcut and that's why all my other shortcuts have been moved. So now if you wanted to rearrange them we can go back to the shortcuts app and then we can move this into a different place and so now if we go back to the widget you can see that it has been rearranged like this and it's important that we do this first because I want to use these colors to guide me for my theme. So now we're going to take a screenshot of this and now we're going to create the wallpaper and we're going to use that Procreate app for this. Let's start with a new canvas and you want to use that screen size canvas because that's perfect for that wallpaper that we want to do. And now we're going to bring in the screenshot that we've just taken so that we can use the colors. And so now we're going to create a new color palette and we're going to add the colors that we see here on the screen to our color palette. And then if you want to, you can also add some different shades of each color to fill up up that whole palette to create the wallpaper. So now we're going to create a new layer, we turn this layer off and we're going to start creating the wallpaper and I've chosen to make just a very very simple relaxing theme. So we're going to start with the lightest color and then fill 
the whole screen, create the new layer. And then we are just going to create these gentle wavy lines like this, choose a new color. And you want to create a new layer for each color so that you can fill it really nicely and easily. And then here at the top, I thought it would be cute to create a little sun as well. I'm just gonna choose this yellow color here, create a circle, and then we're going to fill this shape like this. And so now we're going to group all these layers and we're going to take a copy so that we're not going to lose the original but we're going to flatten this layer so that we can recolor it and we're going to start by duplicating this layer and then turn this layer off and so now we're going to recolor this one so now you want to choose the next color in your color scheme which is the dark purple here and then you want to drag the swatch into the bottom of the page and that will recolor the whole picture just like that and so now we're going to do the same thing for all the remaining colors we're going to use the original we're going to take a duplicate and then we are going to use the swatch for the next color to recolor the whole page just drag it in like this all right so now we have all the different wallpaper colors and they are matching our color scheme really nicely so the next thing is to export them all as jpegs and then just save them to your photos app and now we go to the settings and now we can choose one of the wallpapers we've just made and then the next thing we want to do is create a little label for each page and we're going to use the procreate app for this as well and we are going to create a new canvas the width is going to be 2400 pixels and the height is going to be 1200 pixels and then you want to turn on your drawing guide and again I recommend that you use the colors that we've used before to create the backgrounds and make one label for each focus that you wanted to set up and I'm going to use that modern lettering brush for this because it's one of my favorites and so now the first one that we are going to do is relaxation and of course, if you're not enjoying writing by hand so much, there's also a text function. So you can choose your favorite font to do this as well. But I very much like writing this. And so that's what we're doing. Once you're finished with writing all the labels, you can export them and then just save them to your photos. And so now we need to set up a photo widget and we're going to use widget smith for that and i think that medium widget will work really well and we're just going to use a photo and then a selected photo so now you can go to your photos app and then choose the label and what you want to do is give this widget a name so that you can easily add it to the screen later on so we're going to call this relaxation and save and then we're going to do another one and we're going to do the exact same thing for all of our labels and now we're ready to place the label on the screen. So you long tap on the iPad to enter wiggle mode and then tap on the plus in the top left hand side corner. And now we can select the medium widget to place on the screen. So all you have to do is bring this up and then tap on add widget. And so now this is going to add the widget on the screen. And then depending on which widget you want, you can tap on it. And now you can choose any of the widgets that we have set up to use as the label for the page. So now this is our relaxation theme to start with and so now I'm going to select this widget here and then I like having all my labels here in the top left corner and now we can fill up this page with all the apps that we want to have available when we are in relaxation mode and now because we don't have any of the apps left we actually need to select it from the app library and you've always got the app library here so you don't have to worry if an app is not visible you can grab your apps from the app library and then you can add them to the screen here and what's cool as well is that you can add apps on more than one screen so if there's apps that you want to use in two different focus modes you can do that as well and then it's time to set up the next screen so this one is going to be our work screen so we're going to select the medium widget again from widget smith and add it to the screen and then i also want to add the shortcuts widget here again and then i thought for work it would be nice to have the calendar widget as well so we can select calendar and you can see there's quite a few different options available and so now you can go through and add any widget that you want to have available for when you are in work mode and so now i have got the four screens for creativity relaxation this is my work screen and then also i've created a screen for my music for my piano practice as well and so the next thing we need to do is actually set up these focus modes so that then we can use the shortcuts to trigger them and we 
we're going to go to the settings app and then we are going to the focus modes and so now we're going to set up a new focus mode and in order to do that we tap on the plus icon here and then you can see there's a number of different focus modes set up here already but we're going to choose custom and then we're going to choose the color that we want to have available and purple is great because that's my creativity focus mode and we give it a name and then we can also choose an icon and then you can choose the people that are allowed to send you notifications or you can select none and then also the allowed apps here. So now the trick to setting this up perfectly is to select your home screen that's going to be available for a certain focus mode. So now we're going to tap on home screen and then tap on custom pages. And this is going to bring up all the pages that we have already set up. And so now I only want the creativity screen to be available to me in this focus mode. Mode. So now I'm going to tap done and then that's the focus mode set up. So now if I choose my creativity focus mode, tap on creativity and you can see now if I scroll to the side I only have this available and I don't have any of the other screens available. So now if I wanted to turn this off I tap on creativity and then I can turn it off. And now I have all my other screens available again. And so now I thought it would be really cool to be able to press one of these buttons and then activate that focus mode automatically so they don't have to sort of scroll down and then select this. And in order to do that, we are going to use the shortcuts app. And so now what we need to do is set up some actions for all our shortcuts. So we're going to select the creativity shortcut first. And the first thing you want to do is set the focus. And then you tap on set focus and so now here you can select the focus mode that you want so we're going to tap creativity and we want to turn it on until it's turned off so that's perfect so now we're tapping on creativity and now this is turning on our focus mode and you can see here how we've got the creativity focus mode selected like this. But then of course we can do other things with this as well. So now I'm going to show you some more tricks what we can do with this focus mode. One of the things you might like to do is actually change your screen appearance. So you might also like to change the appearance to the dark interface so you can tap on turn appearance to dark. And so now we can try this out. So now tap on creativity and then you can see the widgets also change to dark and the whole interface now is in dark mode. So this is super cool. But then one of the things that will be super cool to do as well is to actually change the background wallpaper. And so what we need to do is add our backgrounds to different albums. We're going to create a new album and this one is going to be called relaxation. I recommend that you name your album the same that you've named your focus modes just to make it easier to remember save and now we're going to add that relaxation wallpaper to this album and so now we have our wallpaper for relaxation we've got one for work we've got one for music and we've got one for creativity and now we are ready to set up the shortcut so we're going to go back to the shortcuts app and I'm already in the creativity shortcut so the next thing we need to do is select that photo from that photos app and so now we're going to tap photos and then we tap on find photos and then you want to add a filter and we are going to choose album and now we can choose that creativity album that we've created before and then you want to sort by creation date and you want to show the latest first and then you also want to tap on limit and you only want one all right and now we are going to set the wallpaper so we're going to search for the set wallpaper action and now we can see it says set block screen and home screen wallpaper to photos and as the input for this it will take the photo that we have selected here and then what you want to do as well is tap on that little arrow here and it says show preview you want to turn this off all right so now we are all set to go and now we can try this out so we tap done and we're going to go back to our home screen so now if we tap on creativity it will select the creativity home screen and you can see that, that there, these four dots are going to disappear it'll change the ui to the dark interface and it's also changed our wallpaper how cool is that and now of course we can do the same thing for all the other focus modes as well 
well. So we're going to go back to shortcuts and now we're going to do the same thing for music. We turn on music until turned off. We want to have the light interface and then we're going to select the wallpaper from our music album and then set the home screen to that. And so now we can try this out. So we're going to tap on music. Now it changes back to this screen. It's going to turn the interface back to light and it sets that focus mode to music. And you can see here at the bottom, we don't have any screens. We can only work with this screen. And then if you want to get some work done, we can tap on work. And now the same thing happened. It changes the wallpaper and it restricts the screen to only these icons. And then when we're finished with work, we can tap on relaxation. And now we are in relaxation mode. And one of the differences with the relaxation focus mode is that I'm actually allowing all the screens so if I turn on relaxation I can do anything I want and that's it I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then I'm going to put up another couple of videos with more customization tutorials also to show you how you can change all the different icons so you can keep watching and you can keep learning thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video